All right, people, today's topic is talk about what you own or what you play. What I mean, what I mean by this is only talk about the systems or the games that you own or that you play. You know, for instance, like if you're a single console owner, talk about that console. And engage in people engage in conversations with other people that play your console. Um, and you, some people, you know, they may disagree with this, but I find if you do this, you get more intelligent debates, more intelligent conversation. For instance, let's say we have somebody that is a only Sony own Sony console owner. He's already stated that he doesn't want a Microsoft or Nintendo or a PC console. So my question to you is, why would you engage in conversation with him about a Nintendo, or Xbox, or a PC? It's, it would be no, it would be purposeless to talk to him about that because we are one. He already stated he don't want it, so therefore he shows no interest in it. So there would be no point in talking to him about it. You're only gonna get a, a certain amount of outcome from that conversation, and nine times out of ten, they're all gonna be negative. He's either gonna say something that you're not gonna like. About the console, about that he, he's gonna say something that he doesn't like about those consoles, and that you're gonna feel that's wrong, and so you're gonna debate it with, and it's gonna end up in an endless argument. And it's two is either he's gonna say something that's just blatantly wrong, or doesn't like just based out of ignorance because he doesn't he doesn't understand those consoles, or he's never experienced those consoles. So that's another outcome that's gonna come from that conversation, and which leads down an endless road. Um, and then. It's just a plain out, you know, you get those people that are just plain out just assholes about the shit, you know. And it's just going to talk shit just for the sake of talking shit. But my thing is, you can avoid all those types of conversations and those types of debates by simply not engaging in conversation with people that don't own these consoles. I figure out that 90% of the debates that go on on, on comment sections and forums and, and videos and stuff can be avoided by simply not arguing with people that don't give a fuck about the shit that you own. What's the point in conversation with these people? Why would I sit there and try to talk to somebody about a console that they don't want to own? You know? Why would I engage in a debate with somebody who doesn't own a console? So basically, nine times a ten, he doesn't really know the console. He doesn't. He hasn't experienced the console. He's not gonna know the features of it, other than what he's heard, not what he's experienced. So it's like, why would I want to engage in a conversation with somebody about that? Say it can be said about video games. You know, you get those people that say all shooters are the same, right? Well, you know, right off the bat, when they say that, you know, these people are the type of people that really don't experience shooters like they're supposed to be. They just play, they either a they play shooters exactly the same way each game they play. They don't try to actually see what the game, what what makes the game different from the other game. They just sit up there, go run a gun. That's all they do, and that's why they think all shooters are the same because they don't really understand. Or you have those people that really don't play shooters. And they don't understand what's going on. All they see is people shooting, and they don't really understand the, the different type of strategy and the different type of gameplay that goes into each certain each game. Each game is different. A person that plays first-person shooters or third-person shooters, they know this. A person that dedicates themselves to that, they know that each game is different, and each game is played differently. And also, it's based on how you play and who you play with. But, you know... But you wouldn't. But you wouldn't engage in the conversation with that those type of people because it it it, it wills no outcome that's 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 fruitful. So what would be the point in having a conversation? Or the same with like for me. I don't like Japanese RPGs. So knowing that I don't like Japanese RPGs, why would I engage in a conversation with somebody that's talking about Japanese RPGs? I don't like them. I don't want to play them. I hate the gameplay of them. So why would I engage in that conversation with him? It would be my point, my conversation, and my input on that that, that topic would be null and void because I don't play them, you know. And it's like it's just, it just it's, we just have too many conversations in the gaming industry that are just fucking null and void before they even start, you know. Pointless, this pointless, pointless, pointless debates, pointless arguments. 
It's just they null and void before they even start. They were pointless to even engage in. And I feel like talking to people that don't own the console that you're talking about or don't plan on owning it or don't own the game or don't plan on owning the game or haven't played the game that you're talking about, I feel like those are pointless conversations. And so that was the topic of the day is talk about what you own or talk about what you play. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is John Shaw. Peace out.